I'm in disguise today to keep my nose warm. And the coffee. Oh, look, is that a Westie? Yeah. You kill Westie. How many cyclists and downsides do you need? <laughs> I think they can read. Well. No, if you don't slow down, you know what happens. You come over the top of one of these barriers. That's why they put them there. It's the same as don't go that fast, you'll fall off. I'm just coming the axe with us today. Oh, look at that, the bear's wheel. What? Silhouette. Alright. You said that with a weird accent. <laughs> you only went French there for a second. Silhouette. The woodland is home to many typical woodland birds such as the long tailed tit and the robin. And it may appear to be shades of green, but in autumn, many trees such as the oak turn a beautiful russet colour. Uh, which it's doing just now. And also the fact that you get tits in here. Grey squirrels. Tits. Tits, tits. I know. Long tail. Tits in here, people. Long tailed tits. Long tailed ones. Long tailed tits. I didn't know they grew tails. Grey squirrels are common. I saw one the last time. Very briefly, but I did see one. I haven't seen, seen any tits. Yeah. I've seen a few tits in my life. Mm. I've experienced a few tits as well. And robins. The leaves are fair coming off the trees now. Yeah. There's a... Anyway. A wigwam and a teepee with smoke coming out of it. Someone's got a furnace on or something in there. Oh, there he is there. Yeah. See him in there. We've just come into the woods off of that little path there and in the previous video you would have seen that path that's the one that the unicorn mentioned and I mentioned and the yak had said the uh, grass and we were walking along this path from here along and the wall is over there yeah, a really nice, really nice chap and I have to say that from what he was telling me he cares, he cares about the, he cares about the woods, he cares about the park, he's doing things to clean it up and all the rest of it. So, I really just think he should be left to get on with whatever it is he's doing. He's not doing anybody any harm. And then there you go. There's the stairs that we took in the last video. This will take us back away because that's the, the board I saw from the other side. Dosholm Park is also a local natural nature reserve and it has a species of newt, one of the only three species of newt in Scotland and it's called the palmate newt um, and if you can't see one their back is brown or grey in colour and their bellies are yellow and orange. There are also nature water loving plants that have been planted, planted in and around the pond. Um, it provides habitat for the newts and other wildlife, but also provides colour and interest. You can get marsh marigold, water forget-me-not, water mint, yellow iris and brook lime. Their yeah. bellies are yellow or orange, not yellow and orange. And their throats are a pinkish colour and they're never spotted. So we've taken a wee left. Same cyclist slow down, so when I turn left here I'm expecting that. Oh, there you go. More yellow barrier. Mini, mini, mini more. Which is the great control? Whatever way we want. Hmm. Heading down the hill. Big <laughs> side for unicorn there. Yeah. 
Yeah. We've done a lot about. Mention the house. Oh, this is the last hell unicorn. Trust me. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm traumatised by hells. Yeah. There's the bridge. Somebody's left my arm very long. And a dog seat. Basket. Dog basket. Dog. VVC. Not the VVC, the VVC. I hope you know what that is, do you? Nope. I even looked it up. Nobody knows about it. Nope. In front of me, we have the bridge with its red railings and its signpost for where you go. Last time we went to my right, this time we're going to the left. And you have all this whole Vista of autumnal trees, all changing colour, all different shades, lovely. Must Reds, be. golds, greens. The gorgeous sitting here on a nice sunny afternoon. There would when be. The sky, the, when the sun's high in the sky. I'm trying to get all these dog hairs off me. <laughs> Why do you get dog hairs on you? Because the, ma the lovely gentleman that you were talking to had a big dog that came over and decided to be very friendly and rubbed its body all over me. <laughs> did it to me as well. <laughs> I did it to you, I could too. It was very nice. It was a very lovely big dog. Here we are again. I got a wee bit freaked out because every time I turn around, the act's got that camouflage mask on. Called a snood. Keeps me warm. It's multifunctional. Yeah, you can, can wear, wear it. it. You can wear it as a balclava, you can wear it as a bandana, you can wear it as a daft hat if you want, neck scarf, weird wrist bracelet for some reason, that was on the diagram as well. <laughs> it's multifunctional. A wrist bracelet? Yep. You can take it, that'll be the door. You can get across the brow and wipe the, wipe the sweat off. It's probably for exercise, yeah, to wipe the sweat off. Never thought about that way. Ah, like a sweat band? Yeah. Yeah. That's what the if we go up this way, which is the way we're going to go to my right, it should take us to the West of Scotland Science Centre and further along towards Bear's Den. Well, I don't think we're actually going into Bear's Den, but it should take you that way. Or even Mulgai. Or even Mulgai. I think the unicorn's going to be uh, Take you back to when you were little. You would no, kick no, your no, leaves no, and jump on them. You're and still little. Crunch them under your feet. I was little. You're I was still a little, little unicorn. You're also, do that. You're also big unicorns. Mm. Looking wonderful. <laughs> I was just saying that to you, actually. It's busy, this one. Yes, it is busy. Busy over there as well because you're right next to the, what is that out there, Bears Down Road? But yeah. I imagine so. Hidden in that way. It'll be an A road of some sort. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's A road. <laughs> yes, A road. Classification A. Ah. Not A road. <laughs> Although it is A road with a classification A. The more unicorn, I still can't get it out of my head, but you said that the yak and I would get you back. Uh-huh. You always we, do. You find a way. Mm -hmm. You always find a way. Oh, you're going. Yes, you do. You're really not that dramatic there. There we 
we'll go. Whoops, we've got the Holly and the Ivy since we're coming up towards Christmas. Do you remember that Christmas carol, the Holly and the Ivy? I'm not going to sing it for you. I'm not going to sing because that would just hurt everybody's ears. Unicorn never mentioned the red berries that will be coming in. Because there was a cyclist coming and he's dinging his bell. He's dinging his bell and I said, oh, never mind his dinger. <laughs> Is that another word for banger? Yeah, got you back. Mm. I'm kidding. Oh. My dingling. There's a song about my dingling. It's a bit of a weird song. Is that about his dingling? It's actually a, a proper song. It's called it's Chuck Berry, and he sings about my dingling, doesn't he, Unicorn? Yes, he does. Doesn't he, Unicorn? He was singing about his dingling on his bike. Well, well that's why I mentioned it because that bike came along and went ding a ling a ling a ling, and I never mentioned the berries. Did you just say, doesn't he, Unicorn? No response. No response. Mushroom! Okay. Have you got mushroom in that lodge? She's in another dimension, there's no <laughs> point that reason with her. <laughs> Too many uh, two pheromones. Mm, okay. <clears throat> choices, choices. Continue along the concrete or down to the riverside? And just for the record, for those of you that can't understand us because we're speaking too fast. Just for the record, for those of you that can't understand us because we're speaking too fast. Scientific research shows that you might be the ones that are listening too slow. <laughs> yes, that's true. That is very true. Might be the accent mostly though. Okay, we're heading back. Unicorn's gone. But we're sure it's part of the science part. I could have sworn I heard somebody front of the pedal there. Guess what? It was a spooky ghost cyclist. You know, because it's October and all that spooky man. I was actually thinking the unicorn would have disappeared and hid from us a wee bit, but this is here. Over here! Over here! <laughs> You're up there! Hey? You know what, Bear? What? I reckon this must be the other side that we were talking about when we were standing at that new, new viewpoint. It is. Mm -hmm. well, let's go investigate. <laughs> You have to play with the leaves now. <laughs> this all... <laughs> this all, all the trees. The, the trees provide the canopy, but there's a lovely wee pool of sunshine just right there. And then you just get the water. That's another thing about autumn. You get wind, strong wind, high winds are just decay and they fall on the ground and I always find they make such amazing shapes on the ground you think they were, they were had sort of like been put that way by somebody when it's just haphazard like look at the ducks yeah the ducks, we family of ducks and the water's just flowing by isn't it? Isn't it? Just all the colours and all the trees and the water, it just makes a wonderful autumn scene, I think. What we're looking at now, across there, is the path that we were on and stopped on the other day. And this tree here is still standing. This is the one that we saw from across the other side of the river. Big and old, but still standing. Oh. <laughs> 
As you can see, four worlds there is a rugby pitch. That's a rugby pitch, not an American football pitch. Oh. We probably should have taken the park up there because uh, I suppose it wouldn't be much fun getting the fans to leave. Yep. Well, we've gone to the left of the road to the There's a wee the path here. Right under the water. Right under the water. We just kept walking past the rugby club there, the rugby park, and it's nice and calm so I thought I would stop and look at that, look at the water, it's so calm and it's just lovely, I think it'd be a great wee spot for fishing. Do you know what I think, Unicorn? What do you think, Ben? I think we should have brought seats, three seats. I think we should have. And we could have sat here for the rest of the evening. Yep. Until it got dark. How lovely would that have been? It's a nice yeah. spot. Nice I like that idea. Can head over yet? I'm head over. <laughs> This property is actually part of the University of Glasgow. There's some things on the board here detailing some of the things that they have available, like an over 50 sports club. Uh, they have a 2.5 kilometre outdoor jogging route around the facility and they also have group exercise classes every week. That's three things, there's more there. They're open from 10 until it looks like 10 o'clock at night, pretty much every night until Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And then obviously we were over there by the wind turbine back there, we've come all the way around and as I said before, this is part of the university, wasn't it? Over there towards the wind turbine, although you can't see it anymore, there is also the Glasgow Observatory. Two telescopes. I think I'd quite like to visit someday, because obviously I've got my interest in astronomy. Yeah. Yes, indeed. I can smell food as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Make me hungry. Yes, it is. So this is us on the lawn that I was talking to about um, from the other side. And this is it here. You see the wall back there? Steps coming down. And this is a nice lovely lawn area here. <laughs> So we've came across the lawn and we're just heading back along the other side again, the side that we were initially on, although we didn't come up this far. And we're going to see where this takes us. So we just come in a gate there, we took a wee left after coming through the campus up onto the main road. Took a left off the main road and here we are back in Dawson Park again. The gates were about 100 yards along the east side road. 
Happy Rainbows. See you next time. On the yak, as you know, this park sounds have been vandalised to high heaven, but it's still nice. Yeah. You know, I. Anyway, everybody, thanks very much for watching. See you next time. <laughs>